At the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to set up a USB microphone like this one with your computer for an online Zoom meeting or video conference. I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative, and in this video, we're using the neat Bumblebee USB microphone. There are many, many other great USB microphones. We have a ton of links in the description below of our top five USB microphones if you don't already have one, how much they cost and where to get them. So if you're looking for one, please check that out. But we use this microphone for five specific reasons. One, it sounds great. Two, it has a built-in adjustable boom arm. You do not need your own microphone stand or anything like that. Three, it has a super heavy rubber-footed base, so it sits on your desk and doesn't move around. Four, the controls are all in one place. They're not on the front, back, side. Everything's right where you need them, easy to access. You can read what they mean here, and they're super intuitive to use. And five, it comes in a robust box. We ship these things all over the country for online meetings and virtual events where you need better audio quality than what people may have at home when they're presenting from home on their own laptop. So now we cover why we're using this specific microphone. You can use any other microphone for this video but we need to connect this to our computer to get it to work. Now on the back of this microphone, it has a USB-B port. So we have this cable that we ship with it. Uh, we did have to buy this after the fact, so it goes USB-B to USB-C. This microphone did come with a USB-B to A, which works on most computers. So I'm gonna plug this into the computer here. When you plug it in the computer, you'll see everything lights up. That means it has power. That's the way it's supposed to be. You don't have an external power supply or anything like that. Then there are these three super intuitive controls. Most USB microphones will have something like this. First, we're gonna set it to voice mode, and then we're gonna turn the microphone gain or microphone volume all the way down, and the headphone gain or the headphone volume all the way down as well. If you're just using this for video conferencing and your microphone has multiple modes, you wanna set it to cardioid mode, which means that it will only pick up things on the front of the microphone. The front of this microphone is the flat side that we see here. And then if your microphone comes with an optional pop cover, uh, this one has a filter like this. Sometimes it's a foam cover that you put over top of it. Uh, go ahead and put that on the microphone now. It will help it sound better. Specifically what that does is it helps to prevent plosives. A plosive is when you get really close to the microphone, you say like a P or B sound, uh, like pizza or something like that. It will kind of blow out the microphone. The air shakes the capsule. But when you put this cover on, it helps to prevent that. So do put that on. Everything's connected now. So now we're gonna go to our computer. Now we just opened up an internet browser here. We Googled Zoom test meeting. We're gonna join a test meeting. This way we can connect to the internet, test everything, and test the microphone all at the same time. This is a great practice. Uh, so we're just gonna hit allow to bring this open for us. It's connecting, we wanna join with the video. So this is perfect. So it's gonna ask if we hear a ringtone right now. Right now, you can see here that it's playing through the Bumblebee microphone, so it's expecting it to come out of the headphone jack. We'll try that in a minute, but first let's change this over to the built-in output, and we can hear that, so that's perfect. Next, for the microphone, we're gonna turn up the mic gain here until that's getting about 75%, check, check. Until that's getting about 75%, check, check. So that worked for us, I'm gonna hit yes, and I'm gonna join with computer audio, join with computer audio. So in the bottom left here, we can see where this mute button is. You can click that to mute it, but more specifically, you can hit that up arrow to select your, some microphone settings. I'm gonna go into audio settings here. I like this menu a bit more. You can see what's actually going on. So as we speak in the microphone, again, you can see that it's kind of up around anything between 50 and 75% is great. So adjust the volume on your microphone itself to get where you need to go. I always leave this input volume cranked up. I don't have it on automatically adjust. If you're not super confident with your settings, you can click that on and it'll help uh, do some auto levels for you as well. Now, we've already tested the speakers on the microphone, so this is what a lot of people will use. They'll use this microphone and their computer speakers, and that's great. A microphone like this will have great noise rejection on the backside. That's why we put it into cardioid mode. What cardioid mode does is it really focuses the microphone on the front. This microphone has no other option, but if you do have an option like that on your microphone, make sure you turn it on.
Next, let's plug in some headphones and set those up in case you prefer headphones. I always recommend headphones. It's better quality than your computer speakers, but some people just don't like wearing them. So over on Zoom here, we're going to change the speaker to be the Bumblebee. I'm going to hit Test Speaker. And when I hit that, I'm going to increase the volume on my headphones until I hear that signal, which I hear now. So I turned the volume on the headphones up to about 30% and that was a good enough volume for me. So we have this thing in voice mode, the mic gain is turned up where we need it, and the headphones are set appropriately. I'm going to close this menu. That's everything that you need to do in order to test your uh, connection. The reason that we did a test meeting online is because now our internet is tested. So we should be good to go. If you have any questions about anything that I've said in this video, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Again, if you want to see pricing or specs for this microphone, the USB cable, or other USB microphones that we recommend, please check out the links in the description below. We have a ton of information there for you as well. And if you found this really interesting, you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.